Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In the last one, we modelled the Viking shield. In this tutorial, we're going to be UV unwrapping it. I know, how exciting. Okay, so this is where we got to in the last video. You can download this scene from the link in the description if you want to. What UV unwrapping basically is, is just the process of unfolding a mesh so that you can create a 2D texture which fits the 3D object. It's not really that much fun, however, if you want to texture an asset, it is important. At the moment, my shield is just one object, so I'm just going to separate them by holding shift and right mouse button and going to separate. I'm going to work in the smooth preview mode purely because of how hard it is to see the topology when not smoothed because of the random transform we did. To not be super tedious, for each part of the shield, I'm going to show you how I'd tackle to unwrap one of the pieces, and then I'm going to time lapse me repeating it on all the other duplicate objects. Let's make a start on the planks. They're not cubes, but the same principles apply to them. Before we get going, firstly, I sometimes run into problems if I don't do this next step before I start unwrapping. I find auto unwrapping and then sewing everything together gives me a clean place to start my unwrap. So I have um, automatic unwrap in my shelf. However, if you go to UV automatic, um, it'll do the same thing. Now under console, click sew. Now we know we have no UV seams in this mesh and we can start afresh. Using the 3D cut and sew tool, which you can find by going to UV, 3D cut and sew tool, make cuts like this. The general rule of thumb is, if it's a 90 degree angle, then it's okay to have seams. You're going to want to leave the two edges here and here, as they're going to be where it folds out. Okay, so now we've made the cuts, we can go back to the UV editor and unfold the mesh. To unfold the mesh, just go to the unfold tab and simply click unfold. Everything gets big, but that's okay, as later on we're going to lay out all the shelves of the shield into one UV tile. For the time being, let's just leave it as it is. Something you can do is just straighten out the straight pieces a bit more. You probably have to do some of the work manually, but once it's relatively straight, you can simply click straighten UVs down here. Right, so now I'm just going to repeat this step on the rest of the planks. I spread that stuff up to not waste your time, however hope that it helped those of you who needed to see that process through. The next thing we need to unwrap is going to be the metal ring. I'm just going to isolate it by going to control 1 on the keyboard. Again, repeat the automatic unwrap and sew process we did before. Keeping this one shell is going to be hard because it's round, so I'm just going to make cuts at each of the angles. It's stopping at the corners, so just keep selecting the edges. And then just do the same on the other side.
Okay, so now we've done that, we just need to cut the other faces up a little more, as at the moment, they wouldn't be able to lay flat. Okay, so now we've done that, going back to the UV editor, we can now use Control L with everything selected to lay everything out so we can see it all clearly. So I can use the straighten tool, I'm just going to rotate the straight pieces so I can do that. Something like this should work well. Just moving the rings out the way, I'm just going to select all the straight shells and click straighten UVs. Okay, great, so that's the metal rings done and dusted. Now it's time for the center dome. I'm just going to isolate it with Control 1 on the keyboard. And then, like before, I'm just going to automatic unwrap and then sew it all back together. Then, I'm just going to cut each 90 degree angle, like so. Okay, so all we have to do now is go back into the UV editor and click on Fold. So we're so close to being done with the UV unwrapping, it's just the rivets now. Okay, like before, just automatic unwrap and then sew them back together. And um, I think we can actually probably get away with just unfolding them with no cuts at all. Okay, for the next step, I'm going to use a little script that I've got, which is going to help us get done a lot quicker. So all you're going to want to do is click the UV rivet and then select the rest, holding shift to do so. I have a script which then copies and transfers the UVs to each of the objects. It works because they're exactly the same. It's over here on my shelf and I'm just going to click it like this. The code for this is in the description and you can add it to your shelf by clicking the cog and going to shelf editor. Now in the shelf editor, if you click the little create button icon, it will create a new button. And then with the new button selected, go to command and paste in the script. It's Python, so make sure Python is checked. Click Save All Shelves, and you're done. You could, however, paste it in here and click the little blue play button. However, I prefer having it in my shelf as I use it so frequently. Okay, good. So now we've done that, it's just the layout that needs to be done. However, before we do that, let's combine everything together again, as we don't really have a need to have everything separate anymore. Okay, perfect. Back in the UV editor, change the mode to UV shell. Now with everything selected, press Ctrl L on the keyboard. Okay, so you might notice the rivets are huge and nothing is scaled proportionally. To fix this, we need to go into the layout settings. So go to modify, layout, and click the little menu box to open the tool settings. What we need to turn on is pre-scaling, which you can set to preserve 3D ratios. Now when we click layout UVs again, notice how everything is now scaled proportionally to the 3D objects. Doing this ensures we have an even amount of resolution across everything. As before, the way we had it, the rivets would have had super high resolution, whereas everything else would have been super blurry. You can now go in and do some manual positioning, making sure everything is confined to the box and nothing is outside of it. And you'll now be happy to know that the UV unwrapping is done. Join me in the next tutorial, the third and final tutorial in the series where I'll be going through the basics of Substance Painter to give the shield some nice textures. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll go back to you as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.